everyone, I just dug myself out of the what the frack bin to bring you the independent film Dead Girl. Yes, it's an independent zombie film, so let's take a look at her. Wow, that smells. up on the chopping block today is the independent zombie film called Dead Girl. Now it stars Shiloh Fernandez who plays Ricky who along with his buddy JT decide to skip school and do what you know what every normal uh, teenager does when they skip school go to an abandoned insane asylum and while ad adventuring through the insane asylum basically destroying anything they can and they, you know who cares it's abandoned they come across a naked zombie girl strapped to a table again boys doing what boys do, they decide to, hey, let's keep her as a sex slave. Uh, yes, folks, as you can tell, this movie is dark, gritty, and uh, maybe not for everybody, okay? Uh, it is an interesting, uh, more of an exploration into the uh, psychosis of the uh, sexual teenager versus an actual zombie film. Okay, it does contain a zombie girl in it, but that's the extent of what it really uh, resembles any type of uh, a zombie horror Romero film, just the fact that she's a, a zombie. Basically, it's more of a, a exploration of the darker side of how you know um, sex can corrupt teenagers, actually. As the movie progresses, the character, JT, who is played by uh, Noah Segan, who uh, you may have seen in The Brothers Bloom, and he was actually in one of my uh, favorite indie films, Brick. Uh, he plays the, the, the high schooler, JT, who gets really obsessed uh, with uh, keeping this girl a secret and basically keeping her as his. Whereas Ricky is actually pining for the more popular girl of the school who is, of course, dating the Jack. So he's playing kind of the, uh, you know, the lovesick uh, hero who doesn't know if he should actually join his buddy JT in the basement with Zombie Girl or actually try to pursue his uh, love interest and get her away from the Jack. It's a dark, it's gritty, and the subject matter is not for everybody, especially for the squeamish. There is some gore in it, but even for a zombie film, the gore is light. It's more disturbing on a psychological level. Um, the, the sex scenes in it are uh, sometimes a bit graphic, uh, but overall I think the film uh, does accomplish what it's going for, is and disturb you and make you afraid of uh, high schoolers and make you want to make sure you lock all your teenagers in their room till they're 30, especially if they're boys. Uh, it's, it's not a film really that's for uh, kids of course as you can imagine and I, I gotta give uh, respect to the actress who did play the zombie girl uh, Jenny Spain it was her first film and this took a lot of guts because let's face it folks uh, she never wears clothing in the film I mean throughout the whole filming and everything she's basically bare to the world and uh, that had to be tough for her to play along with the zombie makeup on her face and uh, trying to act uh, zombie-ish while strapped to a table yeah, it uh, really makes you go, what the hell, man? Well, you know, rent it if you like the gritty independent horror, the kind of avant-garde style filmmaking. But if you're looking for just a good horror movie, uh, stay away from it uh, because it's going to disturb you and uh, make you never want to go near a high school again. That'll do it for here at Final Cut. Until next time, 